Oh, there's an electrical outlet down here. That's fun. <laughs> Good morning. Where's the straw? Here it is. Okay. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. The last vlog just went up, so you already know. We're back at it. Um, you guys are really enjoying these vlogs. You guys are recording me. I feel like I'm on like a cooking show. So, back with another episode of Cooking with Alex. So, breakfast time, baby. I am obsessed with Starbucks egg bites. Like the bacon Gruyere, I think it's called, the cheese, is so good. So I have this little egg bite maker, and I'm going to try to make them. I don't have Gruyere cheese, but I'm going to still make some egg bites. I have turkey bacon and cheddar. I thought someone was knocking. We're waiting for the uh, pool people to come to open our pool today. So it looks really easy. I'll link it below. Like, look how, doesn't that look fun? You can do cheesecake bites, custard bites. This is the one we're going for. It's such a cute little machine. I love it. Isn't it cute, Bubba? Yeah. Right? Oh, they're teeny weeny. Oh, you could use this probably for other stuff too. This would be great for like a grilled cheese or something. I bet you could fit bread right there. Prep, fill, cook, eat. All right. Do you think I need to cook the turkey bacon first? Yes. Yeah? This part's not exciting, but I'll show you what I'm about to put it into the machine. Okay, so this is two eggs, so it fits perfectly in these four little guys. And then I broke up a piece of cooked turkey bacon and some cheddar. And yeah, let's uh, do it. 10 to 12 minutes. Look how cute they are. They look so good. I also did salt and pepper. So, uh, they're just in these little silicone containers. So fun. I'm gonna take them out and we'll try them. So Yara just tried a little bit and said it was good. Sorry, this lighting's really bad. Mmm, it's good. Definitely not like Starbucks, <laughs> but it's definitely like the healthy version. <laughs> yeah, it's this is like low fat cheddar and then um, turkey bacon. So they use Gruyere cheese and regular bacon, but it's still really good. And you could add all other sorts of things in there. Okay guys, so I spent the majority of the day filming and editing tomorrow's video. So it's dinner time now. <laughs> I'm cooking us up some turkey burgers. I have some sweet potato tots in the oven. Um, tomorrow's video took a lot of the day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. When it's up, I filmed all my Amazon favorites. So um, one pack of turkey, ground turkey, makes four burgers so we can have them for lunch tomorrow. And I just season them with adobo and that's literally like all you need. I learned this from Hell's Kitchen, I think. Brown food is good food. Get it nice and crispy. All right, guys, I'm about to watch Working Mom season four. This is one of my favorite shows. I have some freshly rinsed blueberries. Highly recommend Working Moms on Netflix. So good. Guys, I'm so sad. Working Moms only has eight episodes and they're only 20 minutes each. I am halfway through. I'm going to be really sad after. How's your show, Bob? How's Ozark? Ozark's amazing. Yeah? So good. So, so good. Highly recommend? Highly recommend. Okay. It's really good. Okay. I, I won't give any spoilers. Okay. Good. And How's we up? are still watching Gentified together. We have shows together and separate. Gentified. And after that, we're going to watch a show called Hollywood. Uh, yes. Yeah, it looks good on that Netflix. Good. Guys, comment your TV show recs down below. For real. We're watching a lot. We're, yeah. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> good morning, guys. <coughs> good morning, guys. It is now Thursday, so it is like 11 o'clock. I had breakfast. I spent the morning... Just like organizing the house, organizing our meals for next week because Instacart was actually like taking orders. So <laughs> that was good because before they were scheduling out for like a week. Oh my God, that dog is so cute. Oh, that pup, I want that pup. So I placed an Instacart order for our groceries for next week and now I'm gonna get in my workout. I feel like I'm pretty digested with breakfast. So you guys have been asking for the final updated at home gym tour. So I'm gonna give you guys that. All right, so let's pretend like we're walking in here. So when you walk into the gym, 
this is how it looks. I love the way it came out. So Yara keeps his CrossFit shoes in here when he's doing like a workout on the TV that's CrossFit. We got this weight set on Amazon. I'll link everything below. And then I love this giant macrame wall art. This is from Etsy. Again, I'll link it. The rod is from Target. And then we have those little planters with just some faux succulents. We got this elliptical used and it was like half the price of a new one. I love these curtains. They're from um, Amazon as well. <laughs> They're just like super boho and pretty. These are some old pieces of art I had from my old apartment from Target. We have our little TV here for when we want to stream workouts and do it on this mat. And then more of these curtains. This says you are strong. We need to hang those. A little pink salt lamp. We have our Google, no, not our Google Home, our HomePod for like playing music. A little faux plant. And then we keep the ball for working out and underneath there's like vans. Then there's this little, over here, this little mirror. And I need to get more workout bands because I only have one strength and it's a little too easy. I don't know where I'm gonna put those. And we keep a chair and this ruler for workouts we do. And then this stretchy band for stretching. This was left from the previous owner. I think it's like a TRX thing. <laughs> so yeah, that is our gym. It has really good vibes. I love it, it has everything we need to get into our workouts. I have a ton of YouTube videos to watch, so I'm gonna just grab my iPad and uh, hit the elliptical for a bit. Okay guys, so I just took a shower and our Instacart groceries actually just got delivered. So I thought I would do a little grocery haul because it seems like you guys like seeing what we get for groceries every week. So these are our groceries for next week. It's Thursday, but this should carry us through the next week. So we got a giant pack of strawberries. We have some little breakfast potatoes. So we treat ourselves to like a really nice breakfast on the weekends. I cook us a really nice homemade breakfast. During the week, we just kind of do our own things and Yara will usually have like a bagel and cereal and I'll have just like my own thing later because he wakes up before me most days. But on the weekend, I like to make us a nice breakfast spread, usually with avocado toast. The only thing is when you have someone deliver your groceries, you can't like pick the produce, but I'd rather have things delivered right now than go to the store if we can. I got these Joseph's pita bread wraps. We're gonna make some chicken gyros maybe next week, I think. Big old grabs, big old grabs of grapes. Big old bag of grapes, they feel nice and firm and good. Grapes are crucial. Um, jumbo blueberries, I love big blueberries. <laughs> There's just something better about them when they're nice and big. Oh, something else in here. Oh, a cucumber for the gyros. We love um, these Ritz toasted chips. Um, I wanted the crisp and thins, but they were out, so they got these. But those are just as good. Good to have with like a sandwich for lunch. We have some onion dip powder, onion powder dip mix. Onion dip powder mix. <laughs> uh, and I love to mix this with Greek yogurt to make a nice dip for like veggies or crackers. I got some gluten-free flour. And we have some fat-free cheddar. I have some jerky, I love jerky. It's just like one of my favorite snacks, I don't know why. Got turkey pepperoni, I'm gonna make us a flatbread next week. I don't know why this just sounded really good, but this diet cranberry soda just sounded really good. I don't know if I've ever bought that in my life. Um, more fat-free cheddar, just cause I use cheese on a lot of different stuff. And I couldn't find any dairy-free cheese there, so it is what it is. Eggs. Cheerios. We have some fat-free feta for the euros as well. We have some fat-free ricotta for when I make lasagna. Got some hot dog rolls. Got some laughing cow. So good with some wheat thins. Um, some tzatziki dip for the euros as well. And I just got these little cottage cheese 
containers because I love cottage cheese. It like fills me up and it's just so yummy. Got a bunch of my favorite <laughs> crown turkey. We already have a lot of chicken from the last grocery trip, but we're out of ground turkey. We have a giant tub of non-fat plain Greek yogurt um, to make like dip with. I, I use this for a lot of things. It's like a great replacement for sour cream if you just want like a healthier option. Ketchup, some sugar-free barbecue sauce, more turkey bacon for our weekend spread, some fat-free cream cheese. We have frozen broccoli. Some sugar-free jello pudding, chocolate vanilla swirl, more broccoli, and then a bunch of oranges. So that's everything. I'm gonna make myself some lunch now. I'm trying to decide what I want. Maybe a turkey chili dog? Maybe, now that I finally have buns again. So I literally just use a hot dog bun, um, a turkey hot dog, and then some chili on top, and it's like, so good. All right, that's my grocery haul. Um, I'll catch you guys later. I have a ton of container store stuff back there that I'm waiting for the last package to come in today so I can film my fridge organization makeover. I'm trying to like redo my fridge to look like Khloe Kardashian's because I'm obsessed. And I ordered this stuff so long ago, like over a month, and it's been coming in like random boxes. So the last package is supposed to come today, so I'm very excited to film that for you guys. I just have been really loving getting the house organized during quarantine. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands, sanitize, put away, and I'll check in later. Okay guys, so it is now four o'clock. I have just been editing and doing some work on the computer. I took off the press-on nails I had on because they were starting to lift and break at the bottom. Just like, I mean, you run your hair, hands through your hair when your nails are lifting. It's just like the worst, like hair gets caught. It's just like not a vibe. So I'm just letting my nails breathe. I just like filed them, put on some cuticle oil. And they actually look pretty good. They've grown out quite a bit. It's chillier now. So I put on this cute little set from Fabletics. And I also just threw on some new at-home lash extensions. I did these i got like a bunch of these in the mail these are the ardell not free double flare in long and they're super super pretty um i love the way that these came out and i have been using the dark adhesive because it finally came in the mail and it is definitely better for lash extensions at home just because like over a day or two you can start to see like the clear glue when like you close your eyes and the dark is more easy to blend so yeah i really like them they just make me feel a little bit more alive <laughs> And on the days where I don't put makeup on because like most days I just don't feel the need to put makeup on because I'm just like at home but then there's some days where I want to put like full makeup on and feel normal and I don't know I think we're all just doing the best we can trying to navigate this weird time all right guys so it is Friday 8 p.m. I have not vlogged today I need to give you guys an update on this hectic hectic day so this morning i had to get up really early and help my cousin move out of her college dorm you guys know greta she's like a sister to me so that was quite a process they only let two people in the building at a time of course with masks and it was like intense so that took most of the morning i came home and i edited and then just now well over the last couple hours after we had dinner i got the last package of my container store stuff in and I ended up doing and filming my whole Khloe Kardashian fridge makeover. That'll be up on Tuesday when you guys are watching this. My back hurts so bad. Um, that took me like almost two hours and the fridge looks amazing. I wanna show you guys so bad, but I have to make you wet. But it's been a very busy day. Yar had a final exam for school and he had work stuff. So now, we're gonna settle in for the night. <laughs> but while we were eating dinner, we watched the finale of Gentified on Netflix, and it was so good. <laughs> the show is so good. It ended on such a cliffhanger. Like, I'm hoping they'll get a season two. I looked it up, and like, Netflix has not confirmed yet if they're gonna have a season two. So, oh, I'm just hoping uh, there's a season two. Let me know if you guys have watched it. So, the next show we're gonna watch, I think I already said, is Hollywood. So, I'll let you guys know how that is. But I'm wiped. I'm gonna import this footage take off my makeup and try to unwind before bed in like an hour or two. 
Hi guys, good morning. It is now Saturday and we just had some breakfast. You guys know I like to cook us breakfast on the weekends. So we had some hash browns and eggs and turkey bacon. It was very good. And so like I said, last night I ended up filming the fridge organization makeover. So I also got some things to organize under the sink, like a little lazy Susan. Cause like <laughs> under our sink looks absolutely crazy. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna organize this. And I thought I could show you guys the process. Okay, so I'm sitting on the floor. I know this is not the most flattering angle. I'm still in my pajamas. So um, over here is where I have all my soaps. I stock up on Bath & Body Works soap when they're having sales. Like, I'm not going to be full price for these. So whenever they're on sale, I get a bunch of soap. These are for, like, all our bathrooms and for the kitchen. So... I have for organization, I'm a little nervous that this is not gonna fit. Um, under here, this is like actually huge. Is it gonna fit under this pipe? I don't know. I don't know if it will, we'll see. Um, but this is the Lazy Susan I got that spins, but I don't know how that's gonna go under here, but I do also have this little guy just in case it doesn't fit. I can hold all my cleaning supplies in here. And then you can like take it out with the little handle, so that's convenient. So I think the first step is probably gonna be to take everything out. So we can see what will fit. I hope that Lazy Susan fits, I really do. Also, this Walmart version of Lysol spray, because this one's almost gone, I did use this, is just as good, just as good. This is a little cleaning product haul, I also really love this, I've bought this twice now. This is the Everspring glass cleaner. Um, it's like a really affordable, like earth-friendly cleaning product and it works really, really well. Just as good as like Windex. This is my favorite cleaner for like the countertops. So it's a daily granite cleaner. This is awesome if you have, you know, countertops like this in your kitchen. This is heavy duty grease cleaner if you have like something really intense to clean i don't know why this is down here this is a bathroom cleaner oh this is awesome if you get stains like if you drop something on a carpet or get a stain on like i got a stain on uh our kitchen chairs from when i was doing the easter cookies video i got some frosting and this got it off so it's a wool light carpet and upholstery and like it comes with the brush so it's like an all-in-one works really well we have a little cleaner with bleach from walmart too plant powered floor cleaner so mr clean we have so much oh my god more bathroom stuff i need to move that oh this is great for cleaning off the top of your stove i had this in my old apartment when i had like a glass top um stove but we don't have that anymore electronic wipes pledge electronic wipes extra toothbrushes for cleaning oh my god some old myers pumpkin soap from the fall shout this can go up in the laundry room this is almost empty like this is it's good to clean this out every once in a while because you know, stuff just compiles, it all compiles. And then these are the best, y'all. Mm. They are so good. Um, these dish pods, the Cascade Platinum, literally, you don't have to even like rinse off your dishes. Like it actually takes everything off. I do also put the dishwasher on um, Power Plus, so it's like really strong. These are great for washing dishes because they have little scrubby dubs on them so you can literally wash dishes like with your hands it's very convenient very convenient um this is the dish soap that we put in a little pump on the sink pure and clear palm olive these little scrubby dupes half sponge half scrubber more soap bath and body all right i mean it would be kind of nice to have the soaps in here but I don't want to commit to anything yet. These were left over from Yar's old apartment. Never tried them, so I can't tell you if they're good or not. These are dishwasher cleaners. You're supposed to do, I think, like once a week. Yeah, use weekly. We definitely don't use these <laughs> weekly. We probably use them every other week. 
Um, they clean your dishwasher. You just throw it in with the normal load. Extra sponge. Magic erasers are amazing. You need them. More electronic wipes. I think I'm going to bring these upstairs because why are they down here? This came when I bought my furniture from Jordan's Furniture. It's furniture protection. I've never used it. It's for leather. I literally didn't buy anything that was leather. Why did this... Why did they give me that? There's some extra trash bags, some comets, more natural toilet bowl cleaner, which can go upstairs or in a bathroom, a bunch of these scrubbing bubbles, um, toilet bowl drop-ins. I think these were from Yara's apartment, I think. And there's a Windex back there. This might be from the old owners because I don't remember buying that ever. All right, so this is a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot of stuff. And then we have a ton of these microfiber cloths that Yar uses to like clean the cars. And this is from the old owners. It's super cute. They left it. Um, I think I'm going to keep that for uh, the holiday time. Appliance cleaner. Oh, this can go in your dishwasher to clean. This must be from the old owners too. Nice. And light bulbs. This must be from them as well. Fantastic. Okay, now, <laughs> the biggest concern for me, there's so much, guys, this is so much. I don't know how this fits under here. All right, let me take off this first. Well, the good thing, oh, there's an electrical outlet down here. That's fun. And it does spin. The only thing is, that is in the middle, which is inconvenient. You know what, I should wipe this whole thing down too, because <laughs> thankfully I have all my cleaning supplies right here, because this is very dirty, so I may as well, may as well sanitize. Alright, so let's, I really want to make this work. <laughs> I really do. Uh, I'm trying to think how I can place the products. So that's when I spin this, Ooh, it doesn't hit the pipe. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but like these two things fit perfectly in here together. Like I'm going to make it work. I will link this down below. Um, so I'm trying to decide how I want to organize. I do think I want the soaps in one of these just because it's, I don't know, it makes sense. I'm going to try to organize and you guys can watch how this goes. Okay, it looks pretty good. Definitely better than before. So the Lazy Susan is definitely not doing its job but you know what it is what it is I still just think it looks a lot more organized now and I went ahead and organized these products in a way where the ones I use less are in the back and then like more ones that we need to grab every day are in the front so being able to just grab a dish pod or the wipes or the Febreze or soap refill we use this a lot and we use this a lot to sanitize um, and then glass cleaner we use a lot as well. So everything's pretty easily accessible and like backups are in the back or things we hardly use. And then over here, I have all of our extra soap and then extra sponges, cleaner, packets of things, um, just things that can be more organized this way, some backup dish pods, but yeah, looks pretty good. Can't complain. So I'm gonna put those in a cabinet um, in a closet with our other like random stuff along with this going up in the laundry this going in the bathroom this up in the office so I also got this for our dish drawer so I thought I'd show you guys as I not dish silverware so I thought I would show you guys as I clean this up <music> All right, I also just went ahead and organized the freezer because I didn't get to last night after the fridge. So I have like a container here. This is for like 
we have sweet potato puffs and then like these air fried um chicken patties so we make like a chick-fil-a sandwich at home we have some hash browns we have some ice cream some cool whip breakfast sandwiches some salmon burritos tostones and then this whole row here is all of our smoothie fruits and then up here have frozen veg and then just like some frozen foods so that's all done and then this drawer is all set so that's my organization i hope you guys enjoyed that little organizing morning um so i'm gonna wrap this vlog here because i gotta edit it for tomorrow and i hope you guys are staying safe and sane i love you so much and i'll see you guys very soon